Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you here once again. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna to take a look at something that is both audio and artistic all in one because the thing I have in my hand is actually a one of a kind. There's no actual other identical pair like this anywhere in the world. I'm talking about the Mez Classic 66s. These are an awesome set of headphones that are made of ebony wood and no two are alike. That's why I say they're both an audiophile product and an art form all in one because no one else is going to have them. Now, I reviewed previously their 77s. These things were really incredible. They didn't even really need a 24 hour burn in, but I'm gonna do it with these just like I do with all of them now. They sounded pretty clean right out of the box. Now these things cost about $199, but they are also audiophile headphones. Now you can listen to these things through your Walkman or any of that kind of stuff. They're gonna sound great. But if you go out and you buy yourself an aftermarket headphone amplifier, even one that's even a hundred bucks, you're gonna hear a big difference unless you have a really good sound card inside your computer. That said, let's go ahead and jump in and unbox these things and see what they look like and talk about those specs. So here we see it. The Mez 66 Classics come in a really tiny box because these things are very easily foldable and taken up on the row. So here's the front of the box, side of the box. I'm gonna flip it around real quick and Cameron's gonna zoom in here and then let's real quick, let's talk about the specs. All right, folks, so let's take a look at the technical data. The drive unit is a moving coil dynamic speaker. Speaker size, 40 millimeters. Magnet type, neodymium. Frequency response, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Sensitivity of plus 113 to minus 3 dB. Impedance, 32 ohms. Total harmonic distortion, minus 3%. The rated input power is 10 milliwatts. Maximum input power is 20 milliwatts. Cable type is TPE, material is 1.2 millimeters thick. The plug is a 3.5 millimeter gold plated plug. So now folks, the box just basically pops open and the headphones fell out for that, but I'll set them back down. So basically here's inside the box, what it looks like. Not much to the inside of the box. So let's first pull out the cans, nothing else in there. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Two sets of cables involved in here. Let me go ahead and remove these out of here. These things are all wood grain. They're completely removable so that you can take them out. No more crazy wire stuff. With these, you have a, let me try to get up here with the camera guys. There's a left and right. You can see one's green, one's red. Then you have the 3.5 millimeter jack that'll plug into basically anything these days. They give you two sets of these cables. They're a little bit different. This one's wood grain. The one that's inside of here is not. I'll go ahead and remove that anyway just so you folks can see it. So they're just a tiny, you know, actually folks, you know what, now that I'm looking at these up close, I don't think these are any different. On the 77s, they were actually different, but on these ones, they look like just, they just gave you two sets of identical cables. So I was wrong about them. Well, man, well, you know, up there next close to each other. What do you think, Jesus? Are they identical? Yeah, yeah, pretty close. Pretty damn close, huh? Yeah. All right then, set those down. So here are the headphones themselves. You can see how they tuck up nicely. A lot of people like this kind of design when they saw the Dre headphones. They're like, oh, you know, I don't really like the Dre headphones, but I like the way they fold up like that. So you got that same fold up thing going here. Can just pop down. These are very, 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 I want to stress this, high quality feeling, nice leather feel. This does not feel like junk at all. This feels very, very soft and nice. Here you guys can see. They're ebony wood. No two pairs are identical. And the fact that they are made of ebony wood means they're going to sound much more natural. Wood is the most natural way to reproduce the sound and having wood cups makes a big difference in the sound. So let me go ahead and tuck these things on my head and we'll get a little feel for them. So here we have them on my head, folks. They're very adjustable though. They have a little clicking the thing here. So even if you had somebody who had a gigantuan size head, you know, they would still fit. It's a side pull the same way. I believe it does. So look, if you had a gigantuan head, they'd still fit how they look on me. Woohoo! So 
Next up, folks, let's plug these things in and let's take a listen. All right, folks, so here's the cable. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it. It's got this little wire that's inside of it. Like we said before, they had right and left. On the headphones themselves, they're not marked right or left. I mean, I suppose it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug one in here. You can hear the snap of that as I plug it in. I'll bring it up even closer to the mic up here so you guys can hear the snap in. So it snaps in place. Now we're going to go ahead and steal Jesus' S4 Galaxy and uh, take a listen to some techno. Wow, I got to tell you folks, off this, the bass is just like, boom. The last that I got, the bass was not this booming. You guys got to hear this. Let's move it up to the microphone. Hey, I gotta admit, I don't know what this song is. Jesus, what is this song? It's uh, doing time, but I said it's dead. Oh man, that is pretty funny. That is just cool. This song sounds really cool to this. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to burn these headphones in. I may still do it, but these things are sounding great right off the bat. Like the previous, the 77s, I didn't think they really sounded all that great on hip hop and stuff. They sounded great on jazz and other thing else that sounded so clean, but these, these ones sound a little more hairier on the balls than the other ones do. And the bass clarity seems to be kicking butt. But I'm going to break them in. You guys will see the full written and then video review later. But for now, hey, that's it, man. These are the Mez 66 Classics made of ebony wood. Come to market at $199. No two are alike. Hope you guys like this video. If so, show me that love and hit that like button, baby. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. You should never miss out on anything here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm going.